What's going on, everybody? This is Brother D here coming back at you with another edition of the Brother D Show podcast. And on tonight's show, this Friday night episode, we will be talking from the subject, the power of growth, the power of growth. I want to speak to the people who have been through so much in their life, whether it be from their childhood traumas to learning how to navigate throughout life as an adult to being an adult for a long time. I want to speak to you all tonight about the power of growth. Many of you listening in, you have gone through so much, but you have still grown. You have become more well-versed. You've become more and more knowledgeable as it relates to how to handle yourself in certain situations, as it relates to how to deal with people who may not be the easiest people to deal with you've grown so much since then there was a time where it was hard for you to really look at people in their eye when you knew that there was a lot of gossip towards you in your situation some of you all you've been in so many storms and through so many setbacks to where you feel like you just feel like will I ever catch a break You felt like people laughed at you and said they're always going through something. They're always going through some sort of battle or trial while other people are over here living their life. And it seemed like you're always in a storm. You're always going through some sort of trial or hardship. But I've come to tell you that you have grown. You've grown a whole lot. You've grown beyond people's expectations. You went back to school and got the degree. Some of you all, you you have started that journey. You were in that process. For some, you might have advanced in ministry. You might have went forth in entrepreneurship. Some of you, you have seminars. You have books on the inside of you that need to come out. Podcasts that need to come out. Telling other people about your story. And some people, they just did not take the time to know you. They didn't get a chance to know you because they just knew they knew the surface of you. They knew who they saw from day to day, whether it be in the workplace, whether it be in the church, whether it be in the family. They knew who they saw when it came to certain events where people had to gather, but they didn't really take the time to get a chance to know you as the person. Some people, they didn't even try to help you grow because some people, they, they just... Acting like you did not exist. You were just somebody that was just there and everybody else got the attention and the shine. But now look at you. You've grown so much more since then. The way you talk, the way you walk, the way you dress yourself, all of that is different. And the people who you thought might have been there to help you, they were not there. They were not there. They wasn't present, but it's okay because you might not have been in the clique. You might not have been in the popular group, but it's all right now because you had to learn how to be content. You had to learn how to grow and do whatever it is that you needed to do for yourself. So you can, you could advance your life and not have to worry about what the next person is going to say. Can I tell you that maybe certain people were not meant to help you? Maybe certain people were not meant to try to give you a hand up because you needed to learn how to do it for yourself. Maybe there was a dependency that that was on the inside of you that had to be broken. So you could learn a new skill for yourself. You could learn not just how to survive, but you can learn how to live for you. And for others, it could just be more of a dependency on God. Maybe I needed to just depend upon him. Maybe I tried to reach out to my best friend. I tried to reach out to my cousin, but they may not have had the tools to help me or they never returned my call. But it's all right. Because now you have grown through so much. You already passed the surviving mark. Now you are you're living. You're learning how to how to live and how to enjoy life again. You're learning how to Take what's in you and bring those things out. You're learning and you're discovering different gifts and skill sets that were in you. 
that you didn't even know that was there. You didn't know they were present on the inside. But now here you come. Now people need your help and they need your assistance with certain things they embark upon doing for themselves. You know why? Because they didn't get they didn't take the time to get a chance to know you. And you are even getting a chance to know you better. That's the wild thing about it. Certain people were not meant to help you grow. Certain people were not meant to help you succeed. Maybe the power was already on the inside of you, but you yet you couldn't see it. Why? Because when you looked around, all you saw was storm clouds. When you looked around, all you saw was thunder and lightning. When you looked around, all you saw was debt. All you saw was stress. All you saw was famine and grief and the transitioning of different people that was close to you. But now look at you. Now doors are starting to open. Now things are starting to happen for you. Now you're breaking through the barrier that other people wanted to keep you out of. They wanted to keep you out of a certain barrier. They wanted to build or erect a wall to make sure that you would never bust through it. But however, they didn't fully realize that there was a power on the inside of you that, that was strong enough to break through every brick, to break through every barrier that they built. There was a power that that's on the inside of you that's stronger than every brick and every barrier they tried to build. The power of growth. You grew without them. You got the job without them. You made the friends without them because now you were, you're, you're tapping into your creative juices. You're tapping into what's on the inside of you. You see, you have to understand certain people couldn't take the credit in your growth. They couldn't take the credit because people love to try to hold things over your head. They try to hold things over your head. But the thing about it is this. You always had what it takes. You all, you've always had the gifts on the inside of you. You always have what it takes to overcome and to go to the next level. But see, certain people didn't, didn't want you to think that you had it when they could see it on the inside of you. But they wanted you to be blinded. Why? So they could try to jump ahead of you, leave you in a negative mindset and try to jump ahead of you, see what was in you and then try to copy it and then try to duplicate it. But they can't do it like you. They can't cut hair like you. They can't do graphics like you. They can't watch kids and be there for children like you. They can't teach like you. They can't sing like you. You can only do those things. And put your own unique stamp on it. You're the only one that can do it. So they have to be content. With what they have, they have to be content with the things, the gifts that God has placed on the inside of them and not try to copy and run after you because you have a specific destination and so do they. So you continue to grow. You continue to conquer. You continue to, to dig deep on the inside of you and discover all those gifts and talents that, that are living on the inside of you. And now they have to get a chance to know the brand new you. Or the you that was always present, but it was hidden because now people are living in a place called regret for how they overlooked you, how they overlooked you for how they didn't take the time to really get a chance to know you because they just knew you. Oh, wow. They only knew you as one dimensional. They just put you in one category and left you there, thought, thought you were boring, thought you were just average, thought that you didn't really have a lot going on. But now it's 2024 and now they are in regret. So I want you to know for a fact that the power was always on the inside of you. You just had to discover it. And sometimes you don't discover the power until you were put in a rough place. 
Sometimes you don't you don't discover the power until you were put in a rough place. Until you were put in a storm. Because when you are put in a place where your resources are limited, your creativity then begins to flow. It then begins to flow and it then begins to blossom. So I want you to know that you've grown so much. Keep growing. Keep doing you. And know for a fact that you got it. You got it from here. This is Brother D. You all, and I hope that the show has motivated and inspired you. We are back with our Friday night episodes. And please feel free to send us a message. Reach out to us on social media. Also, our, our website is back up www.brotherdshowpodcast.com check out the, the new and improved website and let me know how you've been enjoying the shows tune in next week for monday motivation as well as evening enlightenment have a good one